guys. Um, I am here to show you a video on the big boy toys. The Lego Technic Crawler. Um, I very much do like this set. Very easily modded to make it go faster. But sadly, as you make it go faster, it will lose its torque. Which, uh, its torque will basically maintains how powerful it is. Um, it is very slow, but you can make, I'll, um, uh, I'll show you how to, sorry, I was a little speechless there. I will show you how to mod it. I'll do a review on this and show you how to mod it to where it will go faster and yet still have some torque. And, um, first I'm going to do the review. Now, I, I would probably rate this, uh, four and a half, five star, because... The reason why is because of its speed. Very powerful, but its speed is not very impressive at all. It's very fun to play with and all that, but it's not very fast at all. Um, yeah, let me put it on the floor where it has more room to just roam around. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, that's pretty much how it goes. It doesn't go very fast at all, but it does have a lot of torque. Like, it will crawl over my foot. It will crawl over my feet. Now it's time to set it up to where it will crawl over. And it will crawl up my uh, legs, though. That's one very neat thing. Yeah, it will get a little stuck. We just gotta help it out. Um, it does have, uh, quite a bit of, um, suspension. Yes, it does. You can move it side to side and all that. It's very fun. Fun to play with. Uh, now we're going to show you the review on the inside. Here, let me turn it off. Um, what's very convenient here is that the doors actually have like a little locking mechanism to where uh, there's a little gray piece right in here don't know if you can see that a little gray piece right here it hooks on to this piece right here it goes over that to where it locks on and it will not uh, close I like the idea how the doors are slanted and all that very uh, slick looking on the top. It's very slick looking on the top. I really like the design. And, um, let us go to the inside. How you get to the inside is you have to open both doors, and because there is a lock on the inside, that, um, uh, you have to unlock it, and that's what keeps the top from opening up. And this is how you get to all the tech and all that. So, um, first we have all of our insides. You have your receiver, which is hooked up to the large motors, and the servo. Servo turns it large motors, uh, make it go forward and backward. These large motors will, uh, th there's two large motors. One in the front, one for the front two wheels, and one for the back wheels. And now we have our battery pack. What happens is, is the battery pack, it's just hooked up to the route. It's not hooked up to the anything else but the receiver. It's going to take a second here to get it off. Oops. Took off the receiver. Um. It's hooked up to this receiver. And, um. Turn it on. Turns on the receiver. Every time you turn it on, it resets the, uh. The servo. So, um. Here. Give me some time to set her back in. The servo, you can actually see. It's literally right under there. Oops. Yeah. <sighs> It's right there. You can see it. So the servos, I would say, are pretty powerful. The large motors is basically a stronger, a very much stronger, slower version of the medium motor. It's basically in between the extra large motor and medium. So, yeah. Very nice. It uh, just slide, The battery box just slides in there. It is uh, very, very nice. I like that idea. So uh, what happens is, you know, I just uh, take these wires right here, and I close this down onto the wires, lock it. It's got a little lock and a cover right here. 
Um, what's very nice about this design is that this right here is actually part of the seat. And so this actually looks like the gear shifting right there. That right there looks like the gear shifter. So it's uh, very, very nice. You just close it, look inside there, and it looks like the gear shifting device. And then once it's closed, you lock it. Then you can start um, driving it around. Yeah, um, what's very bad is that if you go at a connection, like, um, if you, if something is, like, covering this IR receiver from this to that, um, what happens was this will just keep on going for three seconds and then stop. Like, um, here. I'm going to turn on the turn, and I'm going to cover up the receiver. So, um, it will cut off, so you just have to be careful. And also, the range is about 20 feet. I tested that out. It's um, very nice, so just stay with it. Um, it is very, it's got a lot of torque and all that, so as I already said. And also, it's pretty much got an automatic brake. So, um, if you keep on going, what happens is the motors are really hard to kind of turn with all that gearing and stuff. It's kind of hard to turn, so that's pretty much the brake. So, I can barely pull the darn. I can put, I can pull it, but I'm afraid I'm gonna break off some things. It won't go. So, it's very, very nice. And um, now it is time to get to the mod. Okay, so for this mod, or fix up with this, you are going to need eight of these little guys right here. Eight of these little gears. Um, they're all going to be the same size, so you're going to need about eight of them. So, uh, here, let's get started, shall we? Now, the first step is to remove all the tires. That's what you're going to do. And you're also going to do this to each and every one of these. So, it may take a little bit for you to just fix it up. And also, for me, it's kind of hard for me to remove some of this stuff. So, I had, uh, so I'm using some small long nose pliers. So, um... I'll use it for some of those pieces that are kind of hard to do. And so you're going to want to take off these little pieces right here that hold the tires. Those gray pieces, everything. I'm going to take out some of this stuff. It's a little hard for me to get out some of this. Okay. Take a sec here. Now that I've got all that off, you're gonna ha all you're gonna have left is just this right here. And um, as you see that gearing right there, all you're really gonna do is take out these gears right here and replace them with two of these. So you're just gonna take them out. You're gonna need this. Oh, drop my pliers. Okay. So all you're gonna have left is this. Now you're just gonna replace these gears in here. Replace them. And then you're gonna have a different gear ratio. Instead of it being small to a big gear, it's going to be medium gear to medium gear. Uh, that's pretty much going to be it with that. And you are going to do this to every single one. And then you're just going to um, rebuild. You're just going to place them, put back, with, put these pieces back in where they go. And all that. Put them back. 
and then, and then you put back on the steering. Now, now that you've got that back together, you do it to the other three connections for the wheels. Now I'm going to pause the video and do all those. Okay, once you have gotten them all fixed up, you're going to want, or need, to put back on these tires. It'll be a little hassle to put on. Okay. And once you are done with this mod, you will now be left with these eight gears that you got out. Um, you need to keep them in case you want to switch them back. So I'm just going to set them aside right now. And, um, since this gear ratio will probably make this go about twice as fast as it normally would go. Or more. <clears throat> Remove this. Get it out of the way. Put. Okay. I'm going to turn her on. Okay, goes about twice the speed. It still goes a little slow, yes, but it's still faster. It's a lot, it's a lot better than that. You'll, you can tell a lot easier than that. And also, there's a lot more mods you can do on this to make it go a lot faster, and um, and all that. And I'll show you. It will still climb you. It will still climb you. It will have a little more difficulty, but it will climb you. So, um, otherwise, very, very neat. I like it a lot. It will climb some good train. will climb your fist, too. It might not be able to climb it right now. It'll have less torque. So, um... And all that. So, oops. <laughs> I'm always clumsy in videos. Yeah, let me fix it up. I'm always clumsy in these videos, but otherwise, very nice and very fun to play with. And I hope you got and how. Well, see you in the next video. Bye, guys.